What's up guys, welcome to the Marathon Experience. My name is Jeremy and today is day 60 of the 100 days run streak challenge and we're gonna talk about how I run more than 2000 kilometers in the same running shoes. Let's go. First, I want to start by saying that I don't record personally how many miles or kilometers I run in each shoes, but gladly Strava does it on its own and for every run you do, you have the possibility to edit it and add the exact shoe that you've been running with, which is pretty cool for me because I basically have two pair of shoes, road and trail, and it's pretty easy to basically keep track of it in order to know when you have to renew it. So as you can see on the screen right now, I basically run more than 800 kilometers with some shoes, actually these shoes here and since I liked it so much I decided that after those 800 kilometers to just buy the same pair again and that is the one that I actually now pushed to more than 1300 kilometers and I wanted to give you a quick feedback on this because you hear a lot that shoes cannot can only be wear for 200 300 sometimes 400 miles max and I just think that it's not true so that is why I wanted to make this video and kind of open up on the topic after I run 800 kilometers in the first pair of shoes that I had that was back when I was training for my first marathon after I actually achieved the marathon I decided that after 800 kilometers it seemed to be way overdue to actually change this pair of shoes although I didn't see a lot of sign of use on the shoes and I didn't feel anything special like I felt fine in those shoes I just thought that uh, it would be better to just replace them just in case but since I had a very good experience with these shoes I was not getting any chaffing no blisters I was not feeling any pain at all on my ankle on my heels, I like the cushioning. I felt that they were pretty light, even though I honestly have no idea how much they weight. I decided to just buy a second pair, the exact same pair, and not try to chase for another pair of shoes. Just keep on doing what works. And that would be the first of the two advices that I really would like to push with this video. The first one is stick with what works. I know that it is tempting when you see all of those commercial, all of those advertising, all this competition in between shoemakers and it's like, oh, is it Adidas making the best shoes now? Oh, is it Nike? Should you jump from one brand to the other? Or is it Hoka? Is it Salomon? There's just so much competition, so much technology here. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that there isn't like one best shoe. There's probably one best shoe. I'm, I'm not denying that. My point is that for most of the people on this channel and for most of the people that I know of who are only amateur runners, they want to challenge themselves for sure, but mostly they want to enjoy running. I don't think chasing the latest technology is actually something good for you. I think if you like a pair of shoe and if you enjoy running in it, just keep on running with it. And only if you actually want to change the purpose of your run, if you want to train differently, if you want to go on the different surface. In this case, yeah, try to expand your horizon, look for other shoes, etc. But I think if you're doing the same thing over and over, like in the run streak like I'm doing at the moment, and if you have a pair of shoes that is solid for you, that is working fine, I wouldn't try to change it, honestly. Even though I know you're being pressured a lot by all the advertising, I actually think that you should just feel by yourself and keep on running with the shoes you like. But anyway, back on the 2000 kilometer shoes. After I ran through my first pair of shoes for 800 km and decided to replace it because it felt like it was the thing to do, I decided then to pay more attention to the, actually the sign of use with the second pair. And to this point, I'm still gonna run today with this with this shoe that had already run 1,300 kilometers and counting. And I'm probably even gonna finish the whole challenge with them, bringing the total amount to more than 1,600, meaning more than 1,000 miles in the same shoes. And the reason for that is that I don't see any point of changing them. Like I know there are some people explaining that technology is different, the cushioning would be less, there are bigger risk of injuries and stuff like that, but I do think that ultimately this is more like just pressure to push on the consumer to buy some more shoes, but I don't think there is a real rationale behind that. If you want to make a comparison, I think it's kind of like the expiration date you can see on some food products. Yes, some expiration dates are very important on specific products, and that is why I want to say also that if someone has very specific sensitivity in ankles or is very overweight and needs a lot of cushioning, etc., maybe you want to stick to the guideline done by the shoemaker. But for most of the people running, it's the same thing that for most of the food products, Product, the expiration date is always set in order to have zero risk but right now in my fridge there are some products that are 
expired since one week or two weeks and they're gonna be perfectly fine I'm gonna eat them and have no problem at all I think we all know that and we all know that basically the, the producer of such product is basically just making sure that no one gets sick after this deadline for this product and by the way also pushing you to consume more in case the expiration date is passed then you have to buy a new one etc etc kind of the same thing with those shoes that is why I'm not saying that you can run with the same pair of shoes all your life. At some point, obviously, you're gonna see some sign of usage, and if you do start to feel some pain that you have never felt before, and that you think that might be related to the use of this pair of shoes, then definitely change it. Don't take the risk. Don't take the risk of being injured. But overall, I think we can just use our shoes much longer than the shoemaker wants us to, and we can spend some more money on other stuff, because personally, that's what I'm doing, and so far, I'm doing pretty fine. That's it, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Let let me know in the comments how long you're usually keeping your running shoes before you change them. Regarding the run streak update of the day, today my weight was at 77.9 kilograms, which is around 172 pounds. It's pretty okay, I'm starting to go down after this period of vacation where I didn't eat so well, and I kind of feel like now there's a start of a plateau, so to say, that is probably gonna last for a few days before I can start on losing weight again. Regarding the run, I run my classic 10k, classic route, just about 56 minutes, so pretty Pretty decent pace. I was really happy. Legs feel fresh. I have a lot of energy those days. So hopefully it will stay like this and I'll be fine for the next 40 days of this challenge. By the way, if you're joining the channel right now, I am in the middle of a 100 days run streak challenge where I run a 10k every single day. I also upload a video on YouTube about tips, feedback, advices on running every single day as well. So if you want to be part of the journey, go ahead and hit subscribe, hit the notification button and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.